spirit in yourselves. The same with prophecy. People feel like they can just speak anything they see, anything they hear, anyhow. Even when God did not say, God is a God of order, my sister. It is not nice because we were praising God and worshipping Him. That's a spirit of distraction. You start putting on scriptures about makeup and everything. We know makeup is a seed, but a time for everything. Are we talking about makeup right now? No, my sister. And you are the people who move with distraction and spirit of confusion. Because you go to church, the Holy Spirit is doing something in somebody else. You will stop them because you want to go this way. It's not right, my sister. That's why I wanted you to enter the video because I wanted to ask you. Sorry, my sister. Who are you trying to put all those scriptures for on this time? Especially we are not talking about makeup now. And it's just to feel like we have to blast our friend. Even me who don't put makeup. I stand next to people who are putting makeup. The Holy Spirit, me preaching at the altar is different than me, my own feelings. It does not mean that everywhere I go now, when I see somebody with makeup, I'm talking. No, you will find me with sisters who are carrying perfume that I even know that this perfume is demonic. The spirit in the perfume, I even hear it talk. I never make a feel any less. It's not for me. If we fear God and we love God, we have to be humble. Let him move in us and move through us and speak through us instead of doing whatever we want. It's wrong. Because you see now when we speak our emotions, just like my brother Robert Links here, those are his, his emotions. In his own mind, I should be for star sage. Why? He only heard the voice. It's a shame because he missed the angels, the anointing, the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit, and the Lord that is here. It's a shame and I feel sad because that's why when you come here, you're fighting with me. I'm like, can't you see what is backing me? If you saw what was in front of me, that light, You'd have not crossed. You'd have just stayed here. We praise the Lord. So my sisters, I'd like to teach you some order. A lot of us in the Pentecost a, a dominion, we have no order. We have no manners. And we have no respect. And we have started taking the power of the Holy Spirit upon us. Because right now, bringing up those scriptures about makeup. I'm sorry, my sister, me as a woman of God, I look at you like you do not know what time and what place it is. You are the type of people who are going to talk about something that is not supposed to be talked about. Just like the, the prophets in your generation. They do not know what time it is. They, because they have the anointing. The anointing is always going to move in her. <coughs> it's up to you to allow the anointing of the Lord to move in you. And the Holy Spirit to lead you. Or you are going to take over. And when you take over, it is your generation, spiritual fathers. They are always trying to condemn people. Because right now, my sister, those scriptures you are putting... Instead of a sister who had makeup today, praising and worshipping the Lord, focusing on that, she will be distracted by you. And that's not a blessing to the kingdom of God, because that was not what God sent you to do today. And I'm not stopping you from putting scriptures. You could have put the Bible verses, Isaiah, you leave it. But my sister, you, your own writing, it's like the Holy Spirit now want to attack people. I saw the comments, that's why when I was singing your love, I was thinking the Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm looking. I saw you, my sister. Yeah? I saw you. You are writing earrings and this is against God. My sister, I know it. And then most of all, do not be talking to fellow women if you have not reached the standard that you are going to teach another woman. If I say don't wear earrings, I think I have the grace because I do not wear earrings. So preach about what you are living in. Don't preach for the sake of looking fine and good out here. Because that's why the church is being rejected. Because a lot of them, you cannot preach to somebody, don't wear Brazilian hair and put foundation when you are putting it. But women who come to me, let me preach. Am I not living in what I'm preaching? Praise the Lord. So even you, Sissy, next time you see other people, even when they are putting makeup to win them over, we have to move with the order of God. It is God who wins souls. If we want to use our own power to win souls, we are going to be sending people out of the presence of God. That writing scriptures and all of that, my sister, to tell you the truth was unnecessary. I was looking at it. So I was thinking, this woman, we were talking about makeup the last two days. We finished this topic. We are talking about something else. Where is she coming from? It? And then now when you, you start writing that, not everybody is on the same level with you, my sister. There are Christians who get distracted here. And Satan wants the, the weak link. We need to protect our weak link brothers and sisters in Christ. Knowing exactly what to write, when to write, and how to write, and what time. My sister, you are, out, you are allowed to write scripture, my sister. I wish you could join the life. I don't know why you don't want to join. I want to share wisdom. You are, right, you are allowed. I will never stop you from writing the Bible scripture here on any of my platform. In fact, if you write scripture, that's what I tell women. Don't write comments. 
write scriptures. But you see, if you write comments with a scripture, like you're attacking somebody in this moment, the sister that is not strong like you, the weak link that the devil wants to attack, is going to start fighting with you. And this is why women are fighting with one another. She's going to start fighting with you. No lie. She'll start arguing with you. We could have prevented those such things, my sis. A lot of things that we can prevent, that we can actually, as women, prevent. We have, it starts with the order of God, allowing the Holy Spirit to move in you. A lot of things we could avoid. See, see, you're allowed to write scripture. But even when you write scripture, especially when you're already convicted, you're not wearing makeup. The message is for the Lord. Don't make them feel like it's a personal attack. Even the way you write, my sister, I could feel it here spiritually. It, it's like, it's like you want to attack them. Me, when I come and talk about makeup, I'm not attacking them. And that's why I'm not attacking them on makeup. I go deep what prepare me. The Lord said they are leaving their children here with no house, no insurance, no health, no inheritance because they spend all their money that I'm giving them to rubbish. You understand, my sister? You understand me, my sister? So if, if, you, if you understand what wisdom is, even us who have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit tells you, he knows how Brother Elvin is. He knows how to win him better than you and me. If you take up your own power to want to win souls, we'll be looking like we are holier than thou in indulgence. But if we allow the Holy Spirit to move in us, even people will not be offended with us on a personal level. The ones who will be offended on, with us on a personal level, they are a child of God. That's their problem, my sister. But we, the people of God, we even know this person is not on that level. And you can't convict them in one step. And even a time, there's a time for everything. This is what I'm always telling women here in the thing, in the lives. If you find me here, Prezi, to what benefit is it going to bring when you start writing about how dirty I look, my accent and all of that? Isn't that just spirit of jealousy and destruction from the pit of hell? To take away from the others. And God will not bless you for that. You understand what I mean, my sisters? So some of us, even the people, when we, 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 we go to somebody and they respond in a bad way, God cannot find that person in contemption or try to punish them. Because you know why? We push them. Your push and my push will not be the same. And even the word of God is not by force. I said it yesterday. If people don't want to receive the word of God from you, God has sent you. You cannot be angry. You cannot feel offended. You go back and pray to the Lord if you want to pray to the Lord. But that person cannot be your enemy. The word was not yours. The truth that was revealed was not yours. It was from the Lord. It's the word of the Lord. You, you are sent and used by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. That is your part. If they don't like it, they start attacking you. That's their problem. If they never talk to you again, they block you. That's their own issue. You have not done anything wrong. We need to start realizing that you don't have to defend yourself if you know that the Holy Spirit is leading you. You understand what I mean, my sister? And when the Holy Spirit sends us, we are also not going to be in a place where we want to defend ourselves. We are going to come out here boldly and speak the truth. So even you, next time, praise is praise. Worship is worship. Time to rebuke makeup and, and fake hair. It's time to rebuke fake makeup and hair. And even the people you are going to church with, some of them are still wearing makeup and hair. It is not us who have been a, a transformed to make them feel like they are less. No, 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 no. You see, the grace of the Lord, it abides so deep. Let's close, my brothers and sisters, before it starts to rain. Family, I'm seeing you, Brother Elvin. Bye-bye. Brother Elvin, I'm waiting for the phones. You see, today I only came on four places instead of all the places because your, your Mzukulus, they told me they are not going to be giving me their phones because they need them for school tomorrow on a Monday. Brother Elvin, I don't want to send you and Brother James. Contact Brother James before I send the both of you to jail, but I still love you all. I will send you to holy jail, even with the love of Jesus Christ. In spirit and out in truth. And I'll do it with all righteousness. And if the Lord asks me why I bring you to holy jail, I'll say, Father, you see, Jezebel and her brothers have been selling sex this side and showing off that we are nothing. My brothers here, they are being lazy for us to go and collect telephones so that we can come and proclaim the gospel. Hello? As the devil is polluting your generation with rubbish nonsense, let wisdom and knowledge be spread and spoken through the word of God in your generation. Brother Elvin, bye-bye. <laughs> Let's carry the go, my sisters.
Let me close. I hear the showers now. Let's hurry up before it starts to rain, my brothers and sisters. My YouTube family, blessed evening. Eh? Let me carry the go. Go prepare to feed the children at home. Sister Maclay Olivia, blessings to you and your family as well, my sister. My sister, it's been a while because you don't come on live. I come on live every day, my sisters. I come on live every day, and you know, sometimes people believe that I'm not on live. So when you come on live, I would just like to ask my sisters, ask me if I was on live or not, because the way you come so sure, you say, I've not seen you on live for a long time. The devil is a lie. I don't want him to spread lies about you. And I don't want him to speak indirect because he's a liar you understand my sister sister olivia he's a liar i come on live every day here if you have not seen me in a while it might be looking at it like oh i'm the one who is busy at work i don't come on live here because there are a lot of people who believe it and then i i had to close my inbox because they really come to my inbox where have you been my sister i'm on live every day if i miss live it's only two three days but i come on live every day and the reason why i've not been on live is because my phones are under repair right now Three of my phones fail. You understand? I know, Sissy. I know you are the one who has been busy. And I can only I can only be open with my sisters like you, Olivia, who I know personally. Because the other ones, if you tell them, don't write that you have not seen me in a long time, they also get offended. But I know that with you, I don't have to worry. I love you, Big Toko. Hmm? Big Toko, Toko. You should call me some a little bit. What you have been doing? You have a boyfriend? Call me a little bit. Let me tell you something. If you have a boyfriend and you're hiding him, we're going to have a problem with one another. You have a boyfriend? <laughs> you have a boyfriend, tell me. You know your sister, she don't like gossip. She just likes everything in spirit and in truth. You will call me, eh? we'll speak in private. Because if you have a boyfriend, this time you're going to marry. I want to be the one that the Lord will use to satisfy you people in holy matrimony. Ah, Olivia, you have a boyfriend. But tell him if he want you so much and he loves you, you don't have to be enjoying you small, small. You don't even have to wait for white wedding. I can do it on Zoom. I can be a witness with Sharon and Sister Beverly and Brother Ovin and Brother James. We have done a wedding already through Zoom. Being there, witnessing our sister. The Lord says as long as we are two or three are gathered in his name. He doesn't say location. My sister, if you have, Olivia, you have a woman, you need to call me. You need to tell him that Apostle Rachel Potter said that we cannot enjoy each other too much. If you are enjoying me and you have already tasted and you feel that the chicken is good for you, come and take the whole oven instead of leaving the oven out of the house. That's the rain is coming. My TikTok family, I love all of you. Uh, God's child, my sister, God's creation. I pray that you are not offended. Eh? I was not trying to attack you. I was trying to tell you that we Christians, the same way we want to look at the people of the world in the way they come to us. We also have to look at the way we come because carrying Holy Spirit or anointing don't make us above them or anything. No, no, no. Don't make them less. So I pray you are not offended, my sister. You understand? Oh, very good. Let me give you this testimony, Yankees, because you know some people, the devil like to make it seem like I am fighting with my sisters here every day. No. Even when I'm sharing knowledge and wisdom and the sister feel like they attack, it's not like that for me. I followed you already, my sister. You saw that I followed you when I... Did you see that I follow you? Yes. Let me give you this one, Yankees. This one is Thessalonian kiss. It they come from uh, Apostle Paul in 2nd Thessalonians. Receive it. Send me back also. Send me three back Thessalonian kiss so that it can be sealed here. That when the children of the Lord, even when they disagree, the love of God is greater 